All across the nation, schools are cutting extracurricular activities. This has become a huge issue potentially hurting the futures of many high school students. For the past two years, we have cut $30,000 in, uh, in coaching director uh, Schedule C contracts. Involvement in extracurriculars benefits students in many ways, including attendance, GPA, and skills that can lead to future success. Cutting these activities could lead to very negative outcomes in our future. What you would assume is that if you're more involved, you would have better attendance. That is true to some extent. But we have also seen some information and some data that shows us when students are like way over involved. It's one of those driving forces that gets them coming here anyway, even though they don't want to be here. And I think every sport has that same thing. You want to when you get back in school, talk about last night's game, talk about last night's meet, talk about last night's concert or competition. Uh, and so it, it just drives up that engagement and desire to be here. My attendance is usually pretty good because I have to be at school for sports anyways. So it actually helps my attendance because if I don't come to school, then I can't participate in my swim meet. So. It improves your outlook on things, you know. I don't usually dread going to school because there's it's more than just, you know, sitting in a class taking notes, reading books. It's, it's everything about it that, you know, I think performing arts adds to it. It makes it more enjoyable. In the 1980s, 392 students were studied from 7th grade to 12th grade. They were interviewed and their behavior was compared between the students who were involved in the extracurricular activities in fine arts and those who were not. The results of the study showed that 20% of students who were not involved in any activities dropped out, while only 7% of students involved in activities dropped. Because the students are more engaged, uh, more involved in the school, uh, they're more likely to um, I guess get out of bed, start the day being excited about going to school because they've got something else to look forward to outside the regular academic classroom. I think extracurricular activities actually make your GPA better because, I mean, if your grades are low and you can't participate in at least a lot of schools, I know at Xavier you can, I'm pretty sure it's the same way at Kennedy. It shows you how to work hard, you know, when you work hard for something, for like a certain performance, you're working so hard for it and it, you kind of are able to use that within academics. You're able to like, be like, oh, I really want to do well on this test. I'm going to work really hard for it. Like, kind of like, I really want to do well on this performance. I'm going to work really hard for it. And so it kind of is transferable that way. They can also help your GPA because you don't want to be out half the season, so you have to keep your grades so. up. I think kids who participate in a number in a number of activities are going to be more likely to be. Um, Self-motivated, hard workers, and the habits that they use in those activities are going to carry over into their coursework. Students being involved with various different activities and being successful is like a pretty high correlation. So I think if there's one main reason to be involved, that would be it. The more active a student is in our co-curricular programs, whether that be our athletics or our fine arts, um, students who are involved, their GPAs are significantly higher than students who, are, who would have zero involvement. College admissions folks look at a lot of different factors when you're applying to school, and that is one of the factors they look at, those extracurricular activities, um, making sure that you have done lots of different varied things throughout high school. There are There's things like time management, there's things like work ethic, there's things like perseverance through adversity, there are, uh, there are things like sacrificing self for a good of something bigger. Uh, you know, all of those intangible things that come out of being involved in our activities programs that are huge. I've learned a lot of leadership skills from being in swimming and show choir. Kind of learn how to interact with people. It's when you perform, you're interacting with an audience, and when you're being social, just in school and through other things, you're interacting with other people as well. They teach you really good time management and um, and like other study skills like that which can translate to college and will help you later on in life. They become successful uh, and move on past high school and other things that they wouldn't have had there not been that relationship between a coach and a director and teammates and other positive influences on that team or in that group. I think it's a good way for students to like be social and get to know their students. I think a lot of students should uh, get involved in activities that they love and you know, give performing arts a try. And if 
you really like it, then it's great. I think it has lots of positive impacts on a person. I know it really um, made my high school career better. It just makes your high school career go a lot faster. It makes you have a lot more fun. Don't do something just so it's a bullet point on a resume, right? Do stuff you care about, but get really involved in a couple things that you actually care about. I think if you ask anybody who's graduated from high school and been gone for any length of time, they will tell you that their closest friends and the staff that they're closest to are the coaches, directors, and students that they were involved in athletics or other uh, activities with. I, th I think the kinds of bonds that students form in arts, athletics, clubs and organizations, those kinds of bonds last longer than, than any that they'll make in a regular classroom.